Alrighty. Welcome to Monday of McMurray Homecoming Week. Maybe. Are we loading? Or are we not loading? <clears throat> there we go. Maybe. Oh no. Okay, it looks like they're remaking the game again. Okay, so we'll be going momentarily. Um, this is week six for McMurray Varsity Rocket League. Um, we are playing against the undefeated UC Davis team this week, so it's going to be uh, quite the challenge. Our challenger team tonight is also playing. They are playing uh, Colorado State. And they are playing at the same time as well. <clears throat> Nace made Mondays really difficult by overlapping all levels of uh, competition for both Rocket League and Overwatch on the exact same time at the exact same day. So we can unfortunately only stream one. So we're picking up game one here. We're in Rocket League coming off of their win last week versus Wayland Baptist. Oh no, that was a double miss there. I don't know what that was. Oh, that was just a touch by seven there in the corner. Okay. Seven puts it in off the backboard. Plagueis gets it out. Clockwork puts it back in on his own goal. So you see Davis team is pretty good. Let's go see what some uh, aggression from the McMurray Rocket League team can do. Nobody was back. Over aggressive. They're playing overly aggressive, trying to get an advantage against this uh, UC Davis team. Not working out for them so far. They go down 3 0. This UC Davis team is. Gonna punish mistakes. Stalemate in the middle. So he just gets the bump in on clockwork. Clockwork keeps it in. Ranibo puts it out to to the corner. Drager with the juke, clears it out of the zone. Plagueis puts it in the corner. Phoenix gets it in on the corner. Plagueis gets it touch in. Rhinobo keeps it up. Phoenix keeps it in. And seven's gonna clear. Plagueis running interference. Phoenix doesn't quite get it out. Phoenix does get a shot on goal there. Plagueis off the mark.
afraid our casters couldn't make it today. With, uh, again, with homecoming week, everybody is busy with all sorts of projects this week. Seven gets a score and puts UC Davis up 4-0 with 2.16 left in the first game. Good clear there by seven. Rambo gets it cleared out the middle. The dragger picks it up. Rambo gets it in the corner. Phoenix is right there. There's nobody there to follow up. Plagueus gets the redirect of the corner. One minute left in game one. Oh, and Randibo does get it in. First goal of the night for the McMurray Warhawks. <coughs> Randibo <laughs> just lets it roll in. Uh, Plagueus gets the goal. <laughs> they weren't paying attention. You see Davis is sleeping in the back line. Seven didn't even move. So there you go, there's Rocket League. Two goals in five seconds, and it's now 4-2 with 50 seconds left. Bet you see Davis won't make that mistake again. Phoenix puts it in the corner, and Ranibo gets it out the middle. Drager puts it back in. seconds to go. Ranibo went for the demo and missed. Plagueis gets the tap. I'm not sure Phoenix flipped the wrong direction. Five seconds. Does have to touch the ground. Plagueis almost gets it on goal. So UC Davis Gets game one. The best of five series. Mary played, got their stuff together after the first half. So I'd look for them to uh, get take one game at least off of UC Davis. Okay, so here we go. Game two, McMurray down zero to one. Oh, that bump almost got it in. Drager does put it in off the bounce. Off the backboard. There's not a lot Phoenix could do. He's kind of heading in the wrong direction. 
backpedaled as best he could. Leggy as clear as the zone. Phoenix puts it into the corner. Rainbow knocks it in. Plagius can't quite get there. Phoenix keeps it in. But, oh, Rainbow interferes. It stays in the zone. Plagius, <laughs> like a hockey goalie there. Like a three on one. see Davis running into the corner. Phoenix clears the zone. Annabelle trying to center it. Straight to Drager. Plagueis does get the tap and it does roll in on goal. But clockwork is there. Oh no. <clears throat> False redirect. A nice goal by UC Davis. Seven gets the tap. And Drager goes right by it. Two McMurray Warhawks were there, but they both bit on the incoming Drager. That puts UC Davis up 2 0. Start game two. I guess puts it in the corner. Rainbow centers, but there's nobody there. Both the Murray Warhawks have gone back for a boost. Phoenix keeps it in. I guess puts it in. Oh, seven redirects and clears the zone. Seven puts it back into the corner. I guess isn't quite there. Clockwork scores. You see Davis goes up 3-0. Two and a half minutes. Oh, they almost get that cheeky goal, and all of them went in goal. They all pursued. But they did look like they get back. Rainbow got a touch. Plagueis faked. And Plagueis clears the zone. It is on goal. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> Downtown redirect. Plagueis. Off the undercarriage into the top right corner. Still got two minutes to go. This game is not over yet. Well, that was weird. And return favor the other way for UC Davis. That was just unfortunate there. Clears the zone. <laughs> and Phoenix or uh, <clears throat> Ranabo was out of juice there. Another goal for Clockwork for UC Davis. They're up 5 1 with 141 left. Plagueis, uh, 
tries to get it centered. Right about clears it away from the goal. The clockwork keeps it in. Phoenix has to touch up. There you go. One minute left. McMurray down 5 1 to UC Davis. Phoenix keeps it in the corner. See Davis's re rotations have been really good. Oh, Plagius missed. Phoenix does clear the zone. 13 seconds left in game two. Lots <laughs> of battling in the corner. See Davis keeps it alive. Drager gets the touch for a final goal. 6-1 UC Davis. They're showing why they are the only undefeated team left. So game two goes to UC Davis. They are now up 2-0 in this best of five. Rocket League servers are so weird. And there should theoretically not be any differences between either team's pings. Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty, game three. Do or die for our McMurray Varsity Rocket League team to stretch out this match they are down 2-0 to UC Davis that was some uh, big oh they swapped in big buggins for um, Plagius. Interesting. And give him some playtime, I guess. Wonder what that's all about. Clears it to the corner. They miss. Big Buggins gets a goal. <laughs> there you go. Maybe that's what they needed. Throw in the rookie. Do you believe that is his first official goal, if I'm not mistaken, for Collegiate Rocket League? Gets the pinch, 
off the backboard. Oh. oh, somebody has to hit that. This has been a mess in front of the goal tonight for sure. This UC Davis team has given McMurray, which has normally been a really good defensive team, all sorts of problems. And that puts UC Davis up three to one in game three. Phoenix gets redirect on goal. All three UC Davis players were there. Ooh, Phoenix gets the pinch right off the corner crossbar. Rainbow gets it out to corner. Seven misses. Rainbow misses that touch. Rainbow keeps it in the corner. Phoenix off the backboard. Nobody in the rotation. Still in the zone though. Keeping the pressure up. Seven has to make a save. Big Buggins puts it in on. Oh! Everybody does keep it in the corner. Some uh, car damage. This game has been a mess. And seven finally clears it out. Clockwork redirects off the wall. Ranabo puts it back out of the zone. Clockwork gets bumped. Oh, Ranabo missed that one. Big Buggins gets the touch back to the corner. And nearly clears it out, but seven is up higher, and there's nobody back for McMurray. And that puts UC Davis up 4-1 with two minutes and two to go. So we have a three-goal deficit for McMurray Warhawks to climb back from in order to prolong this match. So they are down 0-2 in the best of five. Clears the zone. Rainbow misses the touch, but Phoenix gets it. Oh! Buggins was there, but the bounce was just out of reach. Seven demos, Rainbow. But he spawns right back on the ball. Oh, it's still there. Clockwork. Puts the touch up. Stuck in the corner. Big Buggins clears it to Ranibo, gets it out of the zone. Oh! The defensive play by Drager. Big Buggins clears the zone. Back to the corner. One minute left. Phoenix touches that. Rambo clears the zone. Big Buggins puts it off the backboard in the corner. Phoenix can't chase that one. Big Buggins with the save. Fifteen seconds left. It's right there in front of the goal. Buggins misses his touch. And demoed. And that'll do it. UC Davis wins. 3-0. Okay. So, that was a... Definitely a rough game for your McMurray Warhawks. 
Um, UC Davis is continues to be undefeated. They're the only undefeated team in the division. Um, I guess they're going to come in and talk to us. Okay. That's why we yeah, subbed him out. Yeah, he, he was just playing awful. He couldn't touch the ball for his life. He uh, he wasn't, you know, he couldn't talk. It was like, I don't know. It was, it was like game. playing a 4v2, to be completely honest. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but the moment we subbed him out, first career goal. His yeah. first career yeah. goal yeah. in college. You know, you know, I just, they put me in, I saw the bag, and I secured it. Okay. <laughs> and, and so because of that, your new, your new starting lineup. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> <laughs> he, he comes into the game and he goes, guys, I don't think this was a good idea. <laughs> this was not a good idea. <laughs> that was great though. You got in, you got your first goal, mm -hmm. you got, mm -hmm. your, mm -hmm. you got your first taste mm -hmm. of playing up against some really good players. Uh, we all know. We all know. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you played the best team. <laughs> Bro. First game in, you played the best team. You got the goal. Yeah, you got the goal. Yeah, you got the goal. Yeah, it could have been better today, but I mean, we uh, we performed well at Sierra Falls, so yeah, really well. So we're happy with that. So today, I mean, yeah, today we knew coming in wasn't gonna be too hot, but um, yesterday we did really well. We exceeded expectations. So no, it is not that. Um, it is a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is the HyperX Quadcast microphone. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as strategies go, we, you know, just play fast. Whatever happens, happens. Because we knew if we were going to beat them, we'd have to do something crazy. Clip. Um, essentially, yeah. We had a couple good plays in there. Um, we just needed guys, stuff to post yeah, Instagram. You guys have yeah. always been a defensive-oriented team. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they are... Soft, Obviously honestly. not defensive yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely some shenanigans going on there in front of goal. We um, um <laughs> we had some fun with him, so yeah, um, That's all yeah, had some fun, got him some experience, mm -hmm. and uh, bro, why is your jersey already so much darker than the rest of ours? Like, you've been working out in this. Got a shirt underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Bro, it's like dirty. It's like dingy. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty yeah. Dingy. It smells like a swisher. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay, that's... so, you know, as eSports, as you know, you two are third year within the eSports program. You're come to realize that by now, eSports, you know, there's no division differences or anything like that. We play against some hum humongous teams that are going to have, you know, amazing teams. Um, so what do you take away from a game like this playing against UC Davis? Um, a game like this against UC Davis, we sort of figure out where it's like a, it's like it sets the bar, you know. It's like what we want to strive for, and um, that's really it. Like there's honestly there's not a whole lot we can take away from a game like this where you just get you know, I mean, demolished. <laughs> you know, it wasn't it really wasn't that bad. I don't yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> Because I don't know if anybody in here, you know, is associated with the program. So I'm not going to badmouth the CSL, but, Bo, 
Why are they playing with us? Yeah, it's yeah, it's supposed to it's be like a, Towson 2.0. Yeah, better leads, than them. The leagues are supposed to be evenly split for that reason, and then they're not. It's just so. like, oh yeah, we have we're gonna put all these other teams that are pretty close and ranked together, and then we'll just sprinkle in SSLs just <laughs> every <laughs> once in a while. Like, like, yeah, it's yeah, it's like they did a pretty uh, good job of trying to keep the smaller schools together in our division, yes. but then you sprinkle in the University of Nevada, who has 50 to 60 times the amount of students we do, and UC Davis, who has 40 to 50 times the amount of students we do. And whenever you have 40 or 50, t- whenever you have 40,000 people to choose from instead right. of like 2,000, maybe 1,000, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, you know, 1,100. I mean, you, you sort of, you sort of get, you know, everything you need yeah. out of that yeah. alone. So, yeah. um, I mean, that's, something that I think we'll eventually get to as more and more programs pop up. You know, when we started the program a few years ago, we were the sixth and only varsity program in the entire state of Texas. Mm. As of this year, there was like 20. <laughs> so it's going to continue expanding. You know, as we get more teams, it's going to make it easier for them to... Uh, Bro, what is that? <laughs> That's advice for you. That's advice for you, freshman. Your mom, your, your mom is not here to do your laundry anymore. Your mom is not here to do your laundry. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you, you gotta score your first goal. You gotta look good. Man. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like, why is it wrinkly? Do you just take it out of the hamper? I actually just got it out of the wash right now. I need to dry it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, put it on a hanger and hang it up somewhere. Mm-hmm. You got anything right. else for us? No, sir. Um, uh, did you have anything else to add? So this is what, week six? You got yeah, a we have couple weeks left? Three more games. Three more? Three more games. Got, yeah. I know we're playing DBU. Um, I, I couldn't tell you who else is in Concordia, I think. Concordia's got to be in there, yeah. And then... That was, that was your... your uh, our homecoming win last year. That was, that was. So Look forward to it again. Only McMurray <laughs> homecoming win in like a decade. Let's go. <laughs> Not trying to flex, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, you know, so it's, it's a crazy week with homecoming and all that sort of stuff. Um, Imagine you guys be looking for a nice bit of break here because it's going to be a crazy week for everybody. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so thank you for coming by to chat. Um, and we'll see you all again next Monday. Sounds good. All right. Thank you all. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thank you. Um, y'all make sure to follow us on Instagram at McMurray.RL for your most goaded team on campus. You know, I'm, I'm all right. Thank you all for stopping by. That was uh, your McMurray Varsity Warhawk Rocket League team. Um, I guess I should have asked how the uh, Challenger team did, but it looks like they have exited already as well. Um, let's see, our next broadcast should be Thursday. We do have Smite. Um, that's against another huge school, uh, Georgia Tech. Um, and then Thursday night we have our support alt. We're playing Rhyme in the support of mental awareness. And... Um, we will be having a booth here on campus on Friday for homecoming. Stop by and see us. We'll be playing stuff like Among Us, Pokemon Unite, and stuff like that in our booth. All right, thank you. Have a good night.